Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the favorite day. This is a whipped dairy topping. This is the gingerbread. And I have the peppermint. These were $3.39 at Target. Favorite day is a Target brand. Uh, made with real cream, pasteurized grade A. Um, and they're cold. Seasonal offering. <laughs> Uh, shake gently, keep refrigerated. Yeah, freezing is not recommended. Uh, you keep them refrigerated though. Shake can gently three or four times. Turn can completely upside down. Press nozzle sideways with finger to dispense. Rinse nozzle with warm water. Shake off excess water and replace can in refrigerator. Sharing suggestions. Enjoy on desserts like ice cream pie or cake. Top hot beverages like cocoa or coffee. Make smiley faces on pancakes, waffles, or oatmeal. Um, we don't have any of that. No. <laughs> uh, last time we tried whipped topping from Target, um, what did we try it on? Those little angel food cakes. That's right. Angel, yeah. It was, yeah. So this like time. Like a shortcake. This time, we have pudding. Pudding. This was Kevin's idea. Yeah, well, we didn't really have anything else to put on. We were sitting there thinking, why do you put gingerbread on? Yeah, a gingerbread flavor. And we, um, didn't want to, we could have gotten an angel food cake because they don't make the little small cakes this time of year. So um, you could get like a whole angel food cake, but it's, it's like, I don't know if you want to spend the money on buying a whole cake. For I didn't want to buy a whole loaf. Yeah. Um, and that they were like six bucks at Walmart. And I'm thinking, gosh, I could probably go back in the baking aisle and buy one for a lot less than that. But anyway, uh, Kevin said, you know, we have pudding. Yeah. Why don't we try it on pudding? And I thought, that's a, I think that's a fine idea. So the gingerbread, it's two tablespoons. It's 15 calories. There are 61 calories, uh, Serving. servings in here. 61 this servings. This is the same. Okay. So are we trying gingerbread with what? With the no, vanilla? No. I, that's what I think. Okay. It sits to the side. Oh. I yeah. It's right uh uh, I don't think so. It says uh oh it did. Oh, press nozzle sideways with finger. Well, I oh. read I read turn the can sideways. See that uh, yeah. It came out. Okay. It's all matters. Well I'm gonna try just the cream and yeah. then I'm gonna try it with the pudding. I might have found a new way to eat my pudding. I got a little spice. It's almost more eggnog-y than gingerbread. Mm -hmm. Not quite eggnog either, but it's you can taste the spices. But It's not very sweet at all. No, it's more the seasoning, the spices. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to try it with some of the pudding. Yeah, I'm just wondering what it would taste like with the vanilla. I like that combination of that... Uh, whipped texture, that light whipped texture with the um, denser texture of the pudding. Makes it a creamier. And it adds sweetness. So now it feels mm. like I'm getting a uh, spiced pudding instead of just a vanilla pudding. Yeah. It changes the whole flavor of that. It's good. I don't know if it's strong enough to really, if you put on something really strong flavored, like a, a really strong cake or a pie or something, I don't know that you'd get a lot of the flavor. Eat the rest of that. Cause I want to try the peppermint oh. in that too when we get to it. Um, no, I, I, I would not eat this by itself. Mm -hmm. Definitely mm -hmm. not. But if you're adding it to something, especially something sweet, then I, I I think it's nice. It's good. Like I said, any, any, if you're adding it to something that's already got a strong flavor, I don't know that you'll, I think you'll lose some of the flavor, mm -hmm. but um, it's good. I think we can do it. Yeah, you do it. Uh, this is the peppermint. You want me to take the first bite? Go for it. <laughs> No, it it's is a really strong peppermint. Yes, it does. Which is good. It's almost candy cane like. Yes, that's what it tastes like. Except it it has the the candy cane flavor without the sweetness. I'd like to try that on vanilla. That's today. what I was talking about. When the flavors are light, strong flavors just would get rid of this. 
it did with that a little bit. I agree. There's some of that peppermint fl flavor still left, but not a lot. That's why I'm wondering if you would be able to taste it more in that vanilla than you could in the chocolate. Maybe. The chocolate really um, overpowered mm -hmm. that, that peppermint because it, it is a lighter peppermint. Okay. What if you got more cream and less pudding? You still get that little cooling sensation from the peppermint, but it's not a... You do. You lose some of the flavor. You get more of the peppermint flavor with the vanilla pudding. And I don't know that anyone, if, you, if you've ever had this with pudding, you'll have to let us know that we're not weird. Um, no, I've seen pudding on stuff. That, I don't that. care for that. I don't really like the peppermint. No. I, that, that's, that's what, I, after I'm eating more of it. Mm -hmm. So the first bite, you wouldn't have done that. Um, I would like to try the gingerbread on the chocolate. Um, with just one bite of the peppermint, you you would have thought, okay, it's fine. It tastes like the candy cane, but it's not sweet, just like I said. But then after eating multiple bites, it's like, I don't know. I really, I just don't, that's not one that I would choose. Yeah, now let's see how this, because I'll tell you why, this chocolate pudding specifically, it's darker and it is a stronger flavor. So. Yeah, I don't know if it'll, if you'll be able to taste it. Well, this has little spices in it, so it may be good. Oh, no, I like that. You can taste it. Yep, you 100% taste it. I absolutely taste it. Yeah, actually, so the gingerbread one. I actually really like it on the, either the chocolate or vanilla. I think it even, it makes it seem uh, sweeter and you can really taste the gingerbread more yeah. in the chocolate. I don't know why, but it just seemed that way to me. But the gingerbread's definitely the one out of the yeah. two I would buy. The peppermint, it's, it's really, it's not bad. I could eat it, but it's not a peppermint I would want to eat all the time. No, there's there's nothing wrong with it, and and if you're putting a, a little dollop on something like they recommended hot hot chocolate, that'd probably be good on hot chocolate. I think it would be yes. I think it would work really well with hot chocolate. It's just not something as far as a dessert goes. Um, it's not something I would want on top of a dessert all mm -hmm. the time. And if I only could afford one for three dollars and thirty nine cents, I would pick that gingerbread, yeah. which comes as a complete shop. No, it's good though. Yeah, it, it is good. So if you all get the opportunity to try these out, you'll have to let us know. We looked in the regular section at Target where they normally keep the um, whipped topping and it wasn't in there. It was on an end cap. So at this time of year they do, and I should have known to check there first anyway. It's like a feature. Right? Yeah, they normally put their seasonal things out on this, on this end cap so you'll see it. Uh, the way we walk around the store though, it's the opposite way. So if you went that way all the time, you would run right into it. We walk around the opposite way. So we, we, if we don't look, we will miss it completely. Um, but you'll have to let us know your thoughts on these and thanks for watching.